fine. So uh, are we uh, going to continue with antonyms, synonyms? Or you want to do adjectives? First, we should continue with antonym and synonym as we had started it in the last class. What do you say? Is that fine? Yes, sir. Okay. Was the uses of contrary words like uh, the words opposite uh, to each other had been useful? Did you revise? No. No, sir. Oh, that's great. One by one. Okay. I hope you would be revising articles without revision. Okay. All the taught uh, uh, materials would become a uh, trash. Okay. So please don't make it a uh, trash. Okay. Try to uh, keep on revising the things that will be revitalizing your knowledge. Fine. Revision gives a greater vision. Fine. So I'll start with antonym and synonym both. I'll be writing both the things. I'll be telling okay, you in Hindi, in Hindi also the meanings. Please continue. Now, uh, like the word is, first word is abandon. Abandon. Abandon ka matlab hote parityag karna, chhodna. Abandon. Okay. I have abandoned that bad company. Indians have vowed to abandon Western culture. Western culture. You can uh, take, you can have active participation by framing up your own sentences also. Abandon. Ka matlab parityag karna, chorna, tyag dena kisi cheez ko. That is to abdicate. Synonym is, I'll write S-Y-N, synonym like this, okay? And synonym is abdicate. Abdicate, abjure, abdicate, abjure, you can write, you can write forsake also. I think these three words are more than sufficient. Should I give one more? Relinquish. <laughs> Abdicate, but they have different meanings. Are, there is a background sound. I, I I don't make out which sound is this. Okay, I can't make out. Yes, fine, please. So the thing is here about what relinquish. You can see, forsake. You can see, forsake. Hmm. Forsake. Abandon or yeah, abdicate. Abandon ka matlab hota hai hamesha ke liye chhodna. Tyaag dena. Hamesha ke liye. Something. Okay, like this. Okay. And the basically sir, and yes, yes. Uh, uh, can I make a sentence with abandon? Why not? Visham Pitamah uh, abandon uh, to get the marriage. Uh, Veshma Pitama uh, vowed to abandon the throne of Hastinapur. Okay, sir. Okay. okay yes. Sir. Yes. Like this, you have to say. Fine. Good. Good effort. Okay. So. Like this, you have to say. Next is antonym. You have to write, and in antonym, you have to write refrain, retain. Right, retain. So retain means to carry something. Abandon, tyag dena, and retain. Matlab ki usko kya karna? Carry karna. Another word you can say hold also. Retain. Retain. I must write. Okay. Retain, or you can say hold. Retain or hold word can be written. Is that fine? Retain, I have written wrong spelling, please. R E. Yeah, retain now. It is fine. Retain. This is this one was the first word. You need to find out the different uses of abandon, abdicate, abjure, forsake, relinquish. Okay. You can say forsake also. 
absurd also okay these words can be used abandon is also used in the form of abandon abandon means avara abandon cloud you can use like this abandoned clouds abandoned clouds abandoned boy okay abandoned girl like this you can use different words with abandoned, abandoned object yeah abandoned objects also okay fine so like this you can use uh please uh, uh, throw the abandoned objects away from my surrounding area okay like sir, this you can, can you use. sir can you repeat retain or hold one sentence only? yes yes so that you can understand retain yeah. or hold yeah i have i have abandoned uh tom dick and harry's company tom dick and harry ka matlab hota hai are gare nathu khair aero garon ka company humne chhod diya but my friend is still holding it retaining it but my friend is still retaining it holding it so can you please repeat this in kannada come on say it again can you repeat it repeat the sentence please sir yes yes i have i'm writing it sir i have abandoned like this is that visible yes sir yes yes sir if you don't revise these things they will uh, abandon you they will abandon you but if you keep on revising they will retain you and you will retain them yes this is how socio psychology goes on okay even in terms of everyday conversation relationship and all yes so still retaining it have you understood yes yes sir yusha nayak bhavna yes. rohiwal start your videos <coughs> sir i have network issue in my area that's why i am not able to open my camera okay yeah network issue is a uh, dangerous issue very treacherous and unpredictable issues yes another word this is the second word we are going to do now this was the first word second is abashed you see abashed abashed means uh, to feel ashamed sharminda mehsoos okay you can say like this abashed Have you written abashed? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. means shameful or humiliated. Shameful or humiliated. Up money. Humiliated. Abashed. Okay, his abashing attitude, his abashing behavior, abashing conversation. trite remarks like that we happen to say okay fine embarrassed you can also write okay another word for this is embarrassed embarrassed and now for antonym of the same is what 
uh, Anthony. You can write Anthony Courageous or Propelling, you can say. Propelling, you can say. And uh, what else can be said? Like you can say, Buoyant. Such words are used basically in these things. Written? Yes, sir. Buoyant. So how will you make sentences with abashed? He felt abashed on his misdeeds, on his misdemeanor, on his misdeed, misbehavior. You understand? Any problem? Yes. He was abashed politically. He was feeling abashed because he could not go to attend his friend's birthday party or wedding. So abashed can be used in that way. And another is courageous. Instead of, you know, he was feeling quite courageous when he went to meet his friend or when he attended his friend's birthday party. Okay, is he accessible? Is that difficult? Birth could be difficult. Words difficult hai? Yes, sir. Words kabhi bhi difficult nahi hota. Unfamiliar hota hai. Ah. Words are dead as long as they are not said. They start to live the moment you speak. Okay, so speak out the, these words. Courageous, shameful, abashed, humiliated, embarrassed, Last word, how could we uh, pronounce B U O Y A N T? Buoyant. 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 Very happy and courageous. Buoyant. Yes. Buoyant. Yeah. Speak aloud. Okay. Uh, and speak, speak from your heart. Okay. From the bottom of your heart. Okay. After getting uh, good numbers in examination. Yeah. He felt propelled. I, he felt feel buoyant. Quiet. Very good. Very good. Very good. Major achievement. Yes. Yes. That's great. Good. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Today, Meena Sharma is quiet. Okay. Yes. She's not speaking anything. Okay. Another word is abject, you see. Abject. Third word. Abject. What do you mean by abject? Come on, tell me, please. Neat yahin. Neat yahin bhavna se. Kisi ko dekhna. That is called abject. Okay. Yes. Uh, abject remarks. Abject behavior. Okay. So abject can be used like this and the meaning is synonym is base. Base have you written? Degraded. Manual. These words should be used. And antonym is, I'm writing the short form antonym of abject. Okay. Okay. 
Who's there? Who's there? And why? What is this noise about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, the rat pickers of Seema Puri live in a in an abject misery. Abject situations. Yeah. Abject plights. Abject conditions. So base degraded menial situations. Seema Puri is known as the uh, you know area where mostly rag pickers put up stay rag pickers put up so those rag pickers put up in abject conditions okay yeah so antonym of uh, ab abject is now i'm going to tell you i was uh, i was saying honorable like honorable abject is honorable Honorable. In this, basically, I, I just wanted to tell you abashed as I made you write abashed word. And abashed antonym I wrote you, what uh, that is confident, I did not make you write one of the words you can write confident also. Okay, confident. 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 So please note down confident word also. So abject, abject is jisko heen bhavna se dekha jata hai. Those rag pickers are looked down upon. Look, looked down upon means nafrat se dekha jata. Na, looked down upon. Okay. And uh, they are, and, and they are the politicians and industrialists uh, are what uh, looked in an honorable way. So honorable way. So this is the difference between these two. If I told you that when antonyms and synonyms are given, you should try to co mingle these words, combine these two words in one sentence. And you will find that it will be very useful for you to create opposite ideas in one sentence. Okay, fine. Like uh, the, the first word, which, which first word did I say? Yes, he was abandoned. That boy was abandoned. Therefore, he felt abashed. Okay, and lived in abject condition. Abject condition. Now, abashed, ab um, abandoned, abject. These all words have been used together in one sentence. Okay, like this, you have to use sentences. Try to make more and more sentences early in the morning before breakfast. You see how creative you can. Of course, creative and procreative as well. Okay, fine. So another word is third one. Fourth one is ablution. Ablution. I have written here. I'm going to change. Okay, I'm going to indent. And here through indentation, it is written. Ablution. Ablution ka matlab hota hai. Saaf karna. Wash karna. जैसे आप मंदिर जाते हैं तो मंदिर जाने से पहले अपने आप को साफ करते हैं पवित्र करने की कोशिश करते हैं ओके सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एब्ल्यूशन हैव यू अंडरस्टूड एब्ल्यूशन सो एब्ल्यूशन मींस टू वॉश टू वॉश बट रिमेंबर व्हेन आई से वॉश यू मस्ट फॉर लैंग्वेज बेसिकली लर्निंग दीस एंटोनिम्स सिनोनिम्स यू नो इज फाइन Besides that, you need to learn like wash out, wash up. Okay, wash out, wash out. Ka matlab hota hai andar se dhona. Wash out the glass. Matlab glass ko andar se saaf karo, thik se saaf karo. Wash up the glass. Matlab pura saaf karo, thik hai. So like this, wash is used basically. I wash away like this. Like uh, um, yeah. For before taking uh, my breakfast, yes. I wash out my teeth. Because. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I washed out my teeth. Okay, I went under ablutions. Ablutions ka matlab hota hai washroom jana, apne aapko nitya kriya se nivrit hona. Okay, that is called ablution. 
Have you understood ablution? Ablute yourself before going to the temple. Ablute yourself before going to the temple. So ablution words, the shuddhi, asnan, karna, whatever. Bathing, cleansing, and purification. Bathing. Cleansing. Can't we say the old lady abluted the dead body before cremation? Yes. Yes, we can say. Why can we not say? That's that's very good. She was abluted. Okay. And and of course, another word for that is you can say purgatory world. We are really living in a purgatory world. A purgatory world is a kind of world where hell and heaven both lives. We believe in redemption or salvation. Yes. Fine. So like this, when we happen to believe, then we call it ablution. So purgatory, purgation, uh, you must have heard Platonic statement as Plato said yes, that uh, through, uh, you know, fear and respect, thou parjat, like that, the statement has been said. Sir, like, uh, uh, please ablute the room before left. Yes, you can say before. Yeah, ablute the room. Ablute the room. Okay, so ablute, you can use it in many senses. Where you can use it in the body, where you can use it in the body, where you can use it in you can use ablution. So ablution word can be used like this. Washing can also be used. And uh, contaminate is the antonym word. Contaminate. contaminate. Contaminate or pollute. Or pollute. So are you able to understand these words? Do you think that you'll be able to make a story or sentences and use it? In so it'll be a good Hello, be attentive to the class. Be attentive to the class. I can overhear someone talk to someone else instead of listening to me and reciprocating my lecture. Ye tanu naam se kaun join kar raha hai? Ye is class ka part nahi hai. Aur bar bar aake class ko disturb kar rahe hai. Kaun hai is naam se? Okay, sir. Okay. So, another word for ablution is uh, cleansing. Cleansing. Okay. Cleansing. This is the fifth word. We were talking about these words. Keeping, retaining these words in your mind, using them time and again. Remember only one thing. That you have to speak through them. If you do not find a rational person, okay, to communicate with you, you can talk through them even to a wall for your self-practice. Okay, and writing through them is very important. Abolish, unmulan, eradicate. To end. We have abolished. Sati Prata has been abolished from our uh, system. Yes. Yes, it has been abolished. So abolish means what? To end, to end something, a practice or a system. A system legally. Yes. Legally. This is what we need to remember. That if something is abolished and it is again bent or practiced, then it will be subject to jurisdiction. Okay. The measles is um, abolished in India among the children. Um, I, I think measles are... Uh, 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 eradicate. Measles. It, if it means to eradicate... 
yeah eradicate means it can be eradicated legally yes, legally okay. under okay. legal practice okay yeah. you can't say like that no Reasons. okay thank you sir uh, uh, we can we can say like this like uh, measles have been abolished uh, measles have been wiped out measles have been wiped out okay yes wiped out another word now now abolish means what eradicate as i told you this is the fifth word i think fifth word abolish eradicate or wipe out or wipe out okay fine so abolish have you understood about the abolish eradicate you can say annihilate also for the same see annihilate and if we talk about antonym then ablutions it was abolished so uh, create support or backup <coughs> or backup backup okay so like this words can be used please do remember that abolish is used for uh, something like a uh, practice or conventional practice that goes on and it is uh, you know legally removed so legal uh, a legal practice should be removed basically is But that clear is there anybody there who can ask me any question related to these antonyms synonyms or anything else sir when we use abolish that will be legal word but if you use the backup uh, for example uh, the play uh, has been uh, backup now that backup, is not the legal backup. yeah that's not the legal uh, words no sir no no backup is uh, see uh, synonym means what do you mean by synonym synonym means they are brothers mm -hmm. they can be cousins also You understand? मैं मैं कहना ये चाह रही थी कि abolish शब्द जैसे आप abolish कारण के लिए जी तो backup भी use होगा उसी के लिए backup word different context में लेकिन अब antonym का है ये antonym है backup backup abolish का मतलब होता है किसी चीज को खत्म करना या किसी चीज को support करना antonym है backup yes sir ठीक है और n वक्त पर support से हट जाना back out है क्लियर यस सो वाइप आउट हाँ बोलिए सो वाइप आउट आल्सो मींस द सेम टू एंड समथिंग ही बोली जी वाइप आउट मींस आल्सो टू इरेडिकेट टू रिमूव प्रॉपर्ली नामों निशान हटा देना that is to wipe out that is to wipe out yes uh, sir ye upar wala jo tha na sir fourth wala hmm hmm pollute theek hai mujhe yahan tak samajh aaya lekin ye ye pehle wala jo shabd tha contaminate ji ye thoda sa isko thoda sa celebrate ye jahan jahan par pani maan lijiye pani hai pani peene layak nahi hai you can say that this glass of water has been left for almost an hour okay uncovered so don't drink it i think it would have been contaminated up to now it is it is a contaminated glass of water have you understood yes. contaminated contaminated food koi bhi a pavitra ठीक है सो लाइक दिस यू कैन यूज यस ओके सो वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट व्हाट एबॉलिश हैव यू अंडरस्टूड एबॉलिश यस सर एबॉमिनेशन
एबोमिनेशन एबोमिनेशन का मतलब होता है घृणा नफरत बेसिकली वो नफरत जो आंखों से दिख जाता है कई बार आप नफरत नहीं करना चाहते लेकिन आ, आपके आंखों में वो उम्र कर जाता है सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एबोमिनेशन घृणा ओके अबहरेंस यू कैन से अबहरेंस इस वर्ड को इन वर्ड्स को आप पाठ करिए बार बार अपने आप आ जाए अबहरेंस यू से आई हैव रिटन अबहरेंस स्पीक विद मी अबहरेंस अबहरेंस abomination 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 yes another word reluctance you can say reluctance so reluctance would be what you can call it reluctance also abomination reluctance you can call antipathy also antipathy so these words abomination for abomination abominable lull hateful cry out cry or the cry so hateful out cry or the cry is called what abomination so sir we, we can say like this abomination statements by some of the leaders is uh, abominable uh, abominable abominable statement. statements by some of the leaders uh, um, is condemnable yeah is condemnable yes very good very good good word condemnable yes yeah we must condemn abominations of any kind okay fine abomination have you understood what is abomination grina nafrat ah uh, i abominate crime i abhor crime can also be said reluctance is something what uh, you you don't like it at all okay uh, when you, when you hear you do not want to hear once again about it. so so you are quite what reluctant and you want to you know forsake it you want to abjure it you want to abandon it do you remember these words the very first word and its synonyms yes shivani vashisht yes sir are you able to comprehend okay yes sir fine so uh, abomination means uh, and and love you can say antonym is love likeness like this the words can be used okay uh the the tragedy of our freedom was that what was uh, abominated by some rebellions okay what was abominated by some rebellions was loved by some other rebellions okay i mean but can you also use condemn as an antonym for this word condemn for as an antonym for this word a condemn is to uh, you know iska hindi mein meaning hai ninda karna okay develop dislike not to like it but abominate means ghrna karna okay you can say ye dur ka cousin hai you can say like this okay distant cousin you can call him distant cousin another word is abortive ever abortive 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 means a uh, prematurely finished that could not happen when it was mature then it was it was abortive so abortive word is used like this nirarthak ya asafal we say abortive okay means ineffective sir can we say the whites yes ma'am the, the whites abominated blacks on the basis of race yes yes we can say like this 
I'll take 30 seconds break, please. Okay. Yes, please. Open your videos, start your videos, please. Yes, please. So, uh, abomination, uh, I, I heard Shivani make a statement, okay, sentence with abomination, okay, it was fine. And, and I, I want you to make sentences with the help of all these words that have been given. Try to try to make sentences, use these all words in one sentence. That is an art. Make a compound sentence, complex sentence, learn those sentences, compound and complex. Okay, and use in them. Using those fanboys, coordinating and uh, subordinating conjunctions. Okay, fine. And then make big sentences, three, four sentences. Okay, uh, as complex or compound sentences. Okay, fine. I hope you'll be making. Thank you so much. Next is uh, liking abortive. Have you understood? Abortive is something uh, that fails before time, that does not mature. Okay. Can you please tell me one sentence in abortive? Using uh, abortive? Uh, uh, yeah, the mission was aborted. The mission was aborted because of uh, the excessive rain. Okay. Have you understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, it is it is used in the sense of rain also. Rain out is a word. Rain out means something that because of rain, uh, because of rain stopped. So that is called rain out. The cricket was rained out. Rained out. Our, our visit was rained out. Uh, you know, our visit became abortive because of the uh, cats and dogs, because it started raining cats and dogs. Like this, you can make sense. Said so the surgery was aborted and could not repair the damage. Yeah, the you can say the surgery was, was irreparably aborted. Irreparably aborted. Is that clear? Abortive, have you understood any problem? No, sir. Abortive, ineffective, which was not of <coughs> use. You can use the word futile also at the same time 
you can use fruitless or what vain like this these words can be used used fruitless yeah and when we talk about antonyms antonyms of about him can be used like uh, you know what what can you say successful sir what do you mean by this man uh, dancing cats and dogs what what come again please what do you mean by this man dancing cats and dogs raining cats and dogs i did not say dancing cats and dogs oh sorry raining raining cats on the dogs raining cats and dogs means raining heavily okay yes dancing cats and dogs means cats and dogs would be dancing together it does not have any idiomatic meaning but when you talk about what are uh, raining cats and dogs means it rains heavily it don't pour okay so fine have you understood successful about him and successful okay mature you can write you can write what uh fruitful such words can be read any plan can be about it the thing that was planned or plotted but that does not succeed it becomes fruitless that is called abortive the thing that does not bring about effectiveness in the thing is what abortive okay and if something is mellowed means something gradually ripes and matures matures and then ripes it becomes successful fruitful his mission was abortive but mine was fruit because of uh the perseverance <clears throat> is that clear yes any problem no sir no sir another word absolution absolution ka matlab hai पाप से मुक्त करना किससे मुक्त करना पाप से मुक्त करना दैट इज एब्सोल्यूशन ओके मुक्ति घोषित करना पर्ड एंड लिबरेट पर्ड एंड लिबरेट यू कैन से लाइक दिस ओके फॉरगिवनेस एक्विटल Ah, uh, salvation. There are many words. Okay. So, about him was which word? Which number? Eight. Eight. And after about him, the ninth one was. Sir, in the name of absolution. I'm good. Please. Absol have you have you understood this meaning of absolution yes agar aap kisi ko mukt kar deti hain kis uske kaam se uske kisi karm se that is called venable act pardonable act forgivable act okay agar aapne mukt kar diya agar aapne mukt nahi kiya to aapne kya kiya blame kiya you blame so you can say to blame antonym is to blame i can say like this shri krishna said in bhagavad gita about abs absolution from karma yes yeah absolution from karma yes absolution from karma uh uh what said surely it was said that absolution from karma uh uh is what that if you work okay uh 
in a great deed, then you will get absolution or salvation. Salvation. Work is important. Blame, accuse, you can say. Good. So, blame or accuse someone. Accuse ka matlab hai, kisi ke upar dosh lagana bina kisi proof ka. Okay, fine. Accuse. After accuse, we often use of. Accu accuse of. He was accused of uh, what? Assassination. He was accused of theft. He was accused of pilfering things. He was accused of window shopping. Window shopping. So it can be used like this. Antonym, blame, you must have understood, absolution. And another word you can write, write like what? Condemnation also. You had used this word, condemnation, you see. Okay, fine. Now, uh, word number 10. Okay, we are going to do. Are they useful? Do you find them useful? Yes, sir. Very interesting, sir. Okay, that's great. So, another word is absorbing. Absorbing means, uh, you can say, what is absorbing? Mingle. Shoshit karna, kahan se aba Avashoshit karna, sir. Avashoshit karna. Okay, okay. Avashoshit karna. Okay. Uh, rochak. Hey, rochak hai, basically. Okay. And uh, avashoshan vi hai. So, uh, it can be like what? Very interesting, enjoyable, engaging. That is absorbing. I was, I was absorbed in the lesson. Okay. I was absorbed in the lesson which said that body is uh, the temple and soul is God. So absorbing means what interesting you can say. Very simple, it is very simple. So absorbing is what interesting, okay? And You can say engage, engaging also, that is fine, yes. So engaging, absorb. And next is what? If it is not engaging, then how is it? Boring, dull, monotonous. Okay. Training. Boring or dull. Yes. Next is abstemious. Abstain you can write. Abstain. Abstain means parhez karna ya dur So it's abstain. If you abstain from something, you refrain, you avoid that thing. You, you don't like. Okay, you want to keep yourself uh, from it. Away from it. Okay. So... Avoid or demur or desist. Or desist. Okay, abstain from alcohol because liquors are human blood. Human blood. Don't drink them. Okay. So it is used like this. Abstain from something that can spoil your cardiac, 
spoil something. Okay, so like that, this abstain word can be used. Abstain. Okay, and if you don't abstain, then you happen to indulge into it. Indulge. Framing of sentences will matter. Okay, will matter. Will you know bring about confidence? So indulge. I have written abstain, and next is indulge, engage. or get headlong into it, to get headlong into it. Yes, sir, what is the difference between desist and resist? Resist means to stop something. And, and, and desist means, uh, you know, keep oneself away from. Keep oneself away from it. Okay. Uh, cotton or flannel clothes can resist this sweltering heat. But some people remain in cozy atmosphere to desist heat. To desist heat. Okay, fine. So if you if you resist something, resistance part, if you have resistance part, okay, you try to stop it. Desist means you maintain a reasonable distance or you keep yourself at arm's length away from it. I'll give you 12 words. After that, some good synonyms that you'll be using in the ability conversation. Okay. So, 12th word is here related to abstemious. I've written abstemious word. Okay. And what do you mean by abstemious? Sanyami. Sanyam karma. Sanyami. Abstemious. Okay. Yes, and again, the same thing is that abstinent, if you are self-restrained, self-restrained, have control. Self-restrained, you can say self, or another word for abstain is verb, abstinent, you can use. Abstinent word can be used. Abstemious people have control over themselves. Okay. Uh, uh, earlier he was uh, non-vegetarian. Okay. But later on became abstemious. Gradually abstaining himself from eating. Okay. Any flesh. Any flesh. Fine. Is that clear? Suraj Kumar. Mr. Suraj Kumar. Sir, what do Hindi say in Hindi? Who? Abstemious. 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 Yeah, abstemious means sanyam. Yes. Sanyam. Sanyam. Sanyami. Yes, sanyami. Abstemious is sanyami. Okay. जो संयम करता है और जो संयम नहीं करता है वो होता है ग्रीडी दैट इज ग्रीडी सर लालची नहीं होगा ग्रीडी को लालची ग्रीडी ही तो होता है नहीं बट संयमी का उल्टा लालची हां तो लालची ग्रीडी फाइन There is a very big word for this, guarantee us, but there is no need to write such words. Okay, so uh, here we were studying about what? 
greedy. Uh, you can write simple words, pig on the table. Pig on the table, you can use such words also in everyday conversation. Okay, so, and, mm. Flagrant, you can use this word also. Flagrant. Flagrant, flagrant. Flagrant is a kind of person who knows that he is greedy, he is violating rules and regulations, but for his own self purposes or to grind his own acts, he is getting it into it, he is, he is practicing something which is not accepted. Okay, written. Yes. Yes, sir. Hmm. Now, leaving to this, uh, you know, uh, synonym type of things instead of only antonym, synonym, both we were doing. And, uh, you know, uh, there are uh, almost 1000 antonym and synonym must be learned so that we can use them in everyday conversation with great ease. Okay, to bring about a spontaneity, it is important to learn antonym and synonym. Okay, because life is all about making poise, balance. Okay, when two contrary things appear or contrary things come about, then we need to balance them by using expressions, contrary expressions. Anyways, so uh, are, are they fine? Should I give more, three more? No? We can do, it? sir. We can do 15, above 15. Okay. 15. Okay. okay. Abstruse. Abstruse means bhati kathin, chattel, complex, you could say. Abstruse, okay, perplexing or puzzling. Abstruse expression, abstruse writing, okay, abstruse article. Abstruse behavior, like this, you can collocate words. Uh, like, sir, uh, he's very uh, abstruse person that we cannot understand. Yeah, he's such an abstruse person uh, who is beyond us. Who is beyond us. We cannot understand that person. So like this, you can use abstruse word also. Complex, okay. And antonym is, you can say, lucid, very clear, lucid, you see. Uh, you can say limpid also, as clear as lake, a lake. Okay, fine. So as students, you can use it like this, facile. 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 Up, up sound, sir. Facile. 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 Yes. Facile. Jabbi fa bolte hai, to fa bo, f wala fa bolte hai, to hamesha niche wale lip ko, upper wale daat ke niche le jaga bolte hai. Facile. Yeah, facile. Facile. Yes. Facile. Yeah, like that you can use. Fessai. And phone. Then, niche wale lip ko upar wale daant ke niche nahi, balki upar wale lip ke paas le ja kar. Phone. Phone. Phase. Yes. So, this is the difference. Phase. H and F. Okay, are pronounced in that way. So, fine. Abstruse, you must have understood that uh, I'm so sorry, your letter was so abstruse. I want you to write in lucid manner. 
and more lucidly. Sir. Yes. Uh, sir, politicians are very abstruse persons to understand. Yeah, ab abstruse politicians are abstruse personalities. Yeah, and don't use persons. Instead of that, you use people. Okay. Plural of person should be persons are said, but, but you know, instead of that, you can use the word people. Yes. People. Okay. Yeah. You say like that, you say like that, you say like that, then it will be Okay. Yes, sir. You saw here abstruse word, perplexing, puzzling, and antonym is lucid, limpid, facile. It can be used like this. Is there anybody there willing to ask anything? Yes. No. Okay. Now, absurd. Absurd. Hindi mein likhega murkhtapur. Absurd. Murkhtapur. Absurd things. That is not logical. Okay. That is not autarkic. Okay. And of course, foolish, irrational. Sir, absurd uh, decisions about sickness, sir. Yes. Yes, we can say. Ranjani, your video remains closed. Actually, my grandson is sleeping in my room. That's why I didn't go. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. Your grandson is? He's sleeping. He's small. He's sleeping in my room. That's why I didn't okay. switch. Up. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, look out. Your grandson should not have a trust with me. <laughs> Okay, so foolish here, absurd is foolish, irrational, okay, irrational, have you written, silly, but when we talk about Antony, then it should be wise. Sir, it is uh, uh, irrational. Yeah, it is. It is irrational only. I have written spelling wrong. Incorrect. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Irrational. So wise, or you can say rational. Can you tell me the meaning of rational or irrational? Pardon me, sir. Pardon me. Rational means pardon me. And irrational means a parmi. Matlab jo it's a parmi means it's a division of like a p and q form of any numbers in a mathematics form. But uh, other than English, I don't know. No, no, yeah, mathematics. Yeah. Mathematics is fine. Mathematics. Suraj Kumar, agar ab video on karenge, it will be a wonderful conversation. I am telling you because you have co-mingled mathematics also. We can have an arithmetic conversation also. We can have arithmetical conversation. Yes, Suraj, welcome. Uh, Mr. Suraj, arithmetic ka meaning batao. Arithmetic means progress of a number, like uh, you say, real number, rational number, and. Uh, nein, 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 na, not rational number. Language mein aise bolte hain ki jab hum bolte hain to kisi cheez ko कभी घटाते हैं कभी जोड़ते हैं कभी गुणा करते हैं कितना बोलना चाहिए कितना नहीं बोलना चाहिए किस टोन में बोलना चाहिए किस टोन में नहीं बोलना चाहिए इसको कहते हैं अरिथमेटिकल अरिथमेटिकली स्पीकिंग थिंग आर्टिकुलेशन सर या आर्टिकुलेशन ऑफ द थिंग सो अरिथमेटिकली कैन बी स्पोकन लाइक दिस रेशनल एंड इरेशनल बेसिकली रेशनल मींस आप सपोज करिए रेशनल मैं हिंदी में एक एग्जांपल देता हूं समझाता हूं आपको एग्जांपल बहुत ही अच्छा है कि अगर कोई आपसे पंडित जी 100 200 रुपया लेने आते हैं मंडे को ओके लॉर्ड शिवा के नाम पर 
आप उनको बोलते हैं कि आप पैसे मांगने क्यों आते हो आप हट्ठे कट्ठे हो मोटे हो आप जाकर काम कर सकते हो कहीं ठीक है आपको पैसा मिल सकता है वैसे मैं पैसा देने वाला नहीं तो जब आप इस तरीके से किसी को तर्क देते हैं यू रेशनलाइज दैट थिंग दैट मैटर आ रही है बात समझ में जी सर जब किसी तर्क के ऊपर आप तर्क वितर्क कर सकते हैं ओके okay, और वो स्ट्रॉन्ग होता है इनफैक्ट दैट इज व्हाट रेशनल ओके एंड रेशन देन वी कैन कॉल इट लॉजिकल और इलॉजिकल नो 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 दैट इज लॉजिकल श्योरली इट इज लॉजिकल नाउ व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैन एंड एनिमल आप कैसे ले जाएंगे उसको कैसे डिस्टिंग करते हैं आप वाई डिट वाई डिट एरिस्टोटल से दैट मैन इज अ रेशनल एनिमल सरकास्टिक वे में भी यूज किया जा सकता है दैट इज फाइन ओके लेकिन ये देखिए वाइज स्टेटमेंट है कि पंडित जी को भीख मांगने से अच्छा है कि हाथ फैलाने से अच्छा है कि वो जाकर काम करें वी रेशनलाइज दिस मैटर दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ स्प्रेडिंग मिथ ही शुड बी साइंटिफिक एनाफ ही शुड बी साइंटिफिक एनाफ ही शुड बी लॉजिकल एनाफ इन डीड टू वर्क हार्ड एंड अर्न ठीक है सूरज कुमार जी फाइन यस आपका हिंदी बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे या हिंदी विज इज फाइन ओके दैट्स ग्रेट सो है आर वाइज एंड रेशनल अब देखिए एक चीज है वाइज एंड नॉलेज नॉलेज एंड विजडम में क्या डिफरेंस है सर नॉलेज जो होता है सर नॉलेज मतलब जानकारी और विजडम मतलब एक दूर दृष्टि नॉलेज यू अचीव बाई एजुकेटिंग विजडम इज बाई एक्सपीरियंस Okay, wisdom by experience, but what is the difference? So yeah, it is also acquired. Yeah, actually, you uh, have knowledge. You have knowledge, but uh, to take appropriate decision in some situation is wisdom. So how can we define it? It also requires knowledge to take decision. It requires wisdom, but knowledge also. Then what is the difference? knowledge should be used in a uh, like a uh, in uh, academic progression i think and wisdom uh, wisdom is so in a uh, uh, how to get our knowledge uh, do we do we use do we points. use wisdom okay do we use wisdom unacademically yes sir no, no, sir, some no. people no, they are not we educated can, we can do both sir are, both are dependent in between according to me ओके नॉलेज वो होता है जो आता है और जाता है लेकिन विजडम वो है जो हमेशा रह जाता है नॉलेज इज वेनिशेबल इट अपियर्स एंड डिसअपियर्स इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन बट आउट ऑफ दैट समथिंग दैट लिव्स एटर्नली फॉर एवर दैट इज विजडम सर हाउ वी गेट द विजडम देन विजडम Wisdom is like some practice also, no sir. Yes, wisdom. It depends on our practice also. No, no. In wisdom, we do not destroy, but through knowledge, we destroy things. No, no, uh, sir. I just want to um, um, understand. Uh, knowledge is a practice, and then it will be appear. Yeah, knowledge. Knowledge is a kind of uh, knowledge. Is uh, you Again, know information. Knowledge is okay. information. okay sir and information but, can be creative and destructive both but sir, wisdom, is, sir, wisdom is always can, creative how can we get the wisdom also the, uh, when a uh, uh, little born baby uh, brought up then uh, can we say he is a wise child a uh, uh, lot of wisdom or knowledge even we cannot predict the child its future basically on the basis of its childhood then sir aap uh, wisdom a La, large a large a large a large headed einstein okay was said to be odd and mentally deranged in his childhood okay 
later on he became einstein okay so so uh, um, einstein uh, einstein's information was not appreciated when that information came into wisdom into relativity okay and it was used worldwide okay and people used it and living through it okay enjoying it every moment okay so information may give you the you know sort of enjoyment that can be momentary but wisdom gives you uh, enjoyment forever you rejoice it sir main ye janna cha rahi thi ki wisdom aati kaise hai sikhna se janna then wisdom is a evolution process yeah or not which process evolution process bansagati evolution evolution see see yeah. it is it is not The, it, is, it is not a kind of darwinian uh, you know yes. thing basically yeah yeah so we are not talking about darwin or 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 newton or galileo or copernicus okay, okay. these okay. people basically actually actually wisdom is a natural bliss it is it is, it is it is flair it is flair john keats john keats john keats listen to me please yeah, yeah. john keats john keats wrote poetry and died at the age of 26 shakespeare died at the age of 52 okay fine if john keats lived at the age of shakespeare till the age of shakespeare people must have forgotten shakespeare and would remember remember john keats so john keats being sensuous being a wise poet was able to write Uh, the things that is still remembered his his line is a thing of beauty is a joy forever a thing of beauty is a joy forever so beauty is always a joy beauty is always a joy sun is always enjoyable trees great deeds are always enjoyable your great deeds are always enjoyable those great deeds do not come out of experience okay it is spontaneous it is so natural if you are so philanthropic if you are so altruistic if you happen to reform on individual and social level basically what do you think that people are not more more knowledgeable than mahatma gandhi people were not more knowledgeable knowledgeable than ashoka than buddha okay please let us come to come back to antonyms and synonyms okay fine rationalize thanks to this ration word okay rational okay that took the flight okay literary flight of debate i i am amazed to see you people's knowledge basically okay you might not be able to express properly in english but your knowledge is at acme i enjoy it really it is Thank quite it's yes sir Great. rational means sensible ho sakta hai sir rational means logical ho sakta hai tarkik ho sakta hai progressive sir arth jisme arth ho kisi cheez ka arth ho wo vyarth na ho okay to so, vyarth hai aur jisme arth hai jisme arth hai that is called rational sir progressive ho sakta hai uh A no. snake can eat its progressive. Yes, sir. Think what is progressive? Progressive is a different thing. Okay, sir. Prog progressive is something which is going on, which is continuous. Yes, sir. It can be. It can be an absurd thing also. Absurd thing can also be progressive, and rational thing can also be progressive. Okay, as long as COVID nineteen was progressive. it was vulnerable and menacing it was giving ominous report it was quite threatening yes sir yes <clears throat> so uh we were talking about air yeah, wise and rational things okay and 15th word we are we have done only with you know what what you call it uh a starting from a on antonyms you might be observing antonyms synonyms antonyms synonym words starting from a okay so another word is abundance abundance means 
इन प्रचुर मात्र बहुत ज्यादा जिसको बोलते हैं बहुतायत बहुतायत या प्रचा प्रचुरता बहुतायत और प्रचुरता इज कॉल्ड व्हाट लाइक बहुतायत का मतलब क्या उतना ज्यादा कि आपको खुद को नहीं पता कितना हैव यू अंडरस्टूड शिवानी वशिष्ठ हैज एट लास्ट स्टार्टेड हर वीडियो या supporting her chin and head upon her palm like this you see yes good shivani vasist so are you are you able to learn and observe the things yes sir are they absorbing yes sir we are observing Absor yes sir we are observing very good so they are abandoned mean sir samudra ka pani ki tarah Uh, abundance means uh, uh, the uh, abundance of health, abundance of wealth. Okay, fine. Abund abundance of wisdom, abundance of knowledge. Okay, so abundance can be used when something is you know a lot or plenty. You can say plenty or profusion or overflowing. plenty of things yeah profusion you can use these words okay uh, um, there is a very good word ampleness so like this these words can be used abundance is that clear to you abundance abundance of health okay he has abundance of health and he can earn wealth further But can we it, use access? Okay, access is you know you can use, but access means बहुत ज़्यादा जो नुकसान करने ही वाला है. अच्छा, we use that in a negative sense. Access, yes, access can be used, but access. Uh, yes. act he has excess of wealth means now his wealth is he has excess of wealth which is which is deviating his son from the truthful path of existence of life okay fine easy have you understood opulence it is also called opulence opulence profusion Is it okay, sir? Profusion. 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 We should write no issue. Profusion. Profusion. So, have you understood about profusion? Yes. And and something that is what scarcely. Scarcely. Listen more and more news, native news. New York Times like things, okay, like Washington, okay, news, BBC news. You listen for ten or fifteen days. You may not understand everything properly, but after that, you'll gradually become used to listening to and listening to it, and you'll be able to understand. So scarcely, use word scarcely, please. Fine. Ah, uh, and 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 the next is uh, want of that. want so uh, these are the words basically which are antonyms as well as synonyms antonyms as well as synonyms yeah fine easy comfortable sir, have you understood ampleness ka ek sentence batayenge sir ampleness hmm. ambani's ampleness of wealth okay does not let him get concerned whether he is bearing loss and whether he where he is gaining profit sir okay. there is where he is yes sir there is ampleness uh, mangoes in the basket there is ampleness of mangoes ampleness of 
you know ampleness of you know fruits you can say what is the difference between fruit and fruits fruit hi sir fruit ke hum prayog karenge wo ek specified jaise mango kaha aur fruits agar hoga to sabhi banana bhi ho sakta hai apple bhi बनाना एप्पल सब होगा दो तीन मिलके होगा तो फ्रूट्स होगा एक होगा तो फ्रूट कॉमन ओके सो फाइंड आई लाइक दिस यू हैव टू यूज आई आई गिव यू टू थ्री मोर वर्ड्स दैट यू नीड टू राइट ओके दे आर ओनली बेयरिंग सिनेम्स यू हैव टू राइट लाइक दिस ओके एंड दे आर कलोकेटिव वर्ड्स वेरी गुड वर्ड्स ओके दैट यू नीड टू यूज इन कॉन्वर्सेशन okay and next day uh, you know in the next class i'll be teaching you adjectives and adverbs adjectives basically okay so be prepared for it for adjectives fine so next word is invincible suppose invincible enemy excuse me sir yes uh, will there be class on preposition sir prepositions please repeat will there be any class on prepositions on prepositions a uh, topic has not not been given to me okay okay sir uh, the topic of preposition has not been given to me to me i have been given only adjective and adverb i'll be teaching you these two topics okay fine please invincible enemy see you have to use this word i'm not going to write meaning and all you need to find it out okay so uh if i say invincible you see invincible enemy or formidable enemy you can say also formidable it for formidable enemy invincible enemy formidable enemy means what kind of enemy is he means the enemy of whom okay uh, you are frightened of you are afraid of okay yeah that dreadful enemy okay you understand jinse aap darte hain ya samajhte hain ki ye enemy isko harana mushkil hai okay so invincible or formidable enemy jahan enemy likha wahan friend bhi likh sakte invincible opponent can also be written what is that opponent is that useful sir pratidwandi yes sir ha ha pratidwandi pratidwandi nahi dost bhi ho sakta hai aisa dost aisa friend jo invincible hai jisko invincible ka matlab hota hai jisko haraya na ja sake unconquerable unvanquishable okay undefeatable that person cannot be defeated like this okay uh intimate relation very close relation is called intimate do i need to write meanings close relation sir close relation intimate relation have you written yes sir yes sir ha ah uh, indomitable courage aap log mujhe batana ki next class mein ki aapne kitne bar in words ko use kiya okay और ये बात समझ घर में जो नहीं सुनना चाहते हैं उनको ज्यादा सुनाइए जो नहीं बोलना चाहते उनके सामने ज्यादा बोलिए सर इंडोमिटेबल करेज इंडोमिटेबल करेज का मतलब होता है ऐसा हिम्मत जिसको झुकाया नहीं जा सकता हराया नहीं जा सकता इज कॉल्ड इंडोमिटेबल करेज हैव यू अंडरस्टूड यस
uh, means unsuperable, the, the courage that cannot be suppressed, cannot be suppressed. The courage that can't be suppressed. Is it fine now? Yes, sir. That can't be suppressed. Illicit relation. Illicit relation. What do you mean by illicit relation? Illegal and immoral relation. Immoral relation. We are learning the last one, fifth. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Imminent danger. Means nearing danger, lurking danger, coming out danger is called imminent danger. Nearing danger, near and likely to occur. Are they useful? Yes, sir. Yes. yes his sir. friend was, his enemy was invincible. So he thought that he would establish intimate relation with him. And he would also gain indomitable courage. Okay. But when that invincible enemy told him to establish illicit relationship, okay, then he could notice imminent danger and then he abandoned it. Sara ban gaya? Yes, sir. Aise aapko bana. It's a nice example, sir. Yes. Like this, you have to frame up, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Yes. I have given uh, almost, you know, uh, 20 words and phrases in this class, basically. Okay, not 20, you can say, you can sum it up to 60, almost 60 or 70 or 80. I think it can go to the extent of 80 words. If you happen to use 80 words, you have 80 ideas. And 80 ideas means you can flourish your ideas by expressing yeah. them, by using them, by writing. There is a very good saying, practice makes... A man perfect. perfect. A man practice, perfect. practice makes perfect. Practice monkey ko bhi perfect bana hai. Donkey ko bhi perfect bana hai. But writing makes a man perfect. Okay. But writing makes a man perfect. Remember, if you keep on writing, oh, you can become perfect. Who says perfection cannot be brought up and one cannot uh, reach uh, from plinth to pinnacle. Okay, one can reach but by dint of consistency. Fine? Yes. So, thank you so much for being with me. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.